Hey, it's Matt Kelly for the California Fuel Cell Partnership, where we're enjoying another test drive of the future, this time with the Chevy Equinox Fuel Cell Vehicle. And I'm joined today with GM's Western Region Communication Guru. Oh, boy. <laughs> Dave Barthness. Dave, it's a pleasure having you on the show again today. Yep, yep. I have to tell you, I've driven this vehicle. I love this, I would say, car, but it's not a car. I love this SUV. Thank you. Well, yeah, and it's not too much of the future. I mean, this vehicle works. It's part of Project Driveway, and we have put more than a million miles on all of our participating vehicles, so we know they're safe, mm -hmm. they're reliable, they're durable, and they work. But, you know, you know that this is an electric car, right? Right, yeah. But instead of a bank of batteries, we use hydrogen, mm. and oxygen in this fuel cell stack creates electricity, powers the vehicle, and the only thing that comes out of the uh, tailpipe is pure water vapor. You know, the same stuff the astronauts, you know, mix their tank with <laughs> and add potable water up in space. Well, I think that's actually interesting, uh, bringing it back to the astronauts and whatnot. General yep. Motors has actually been committed to fuel cell vehicles, actually going back to the 1960s. Yes. I've actually seen the electro van. But at that time, I think the fuel cell stack and all the technology took up everything <laughs> It in took that up van. the whole rear of the van. Exactly. And now we've shrunk it to a package this size. Wow. And that's the real secret. I mean, a lot of the stuff is real rocket science. Mm -hmm. A lot of our folks in Torrance and our fuel cell team actually came from the old EV1 days and mm -hmm. they were actual Hughes Research Labs rocket scientists and the trick was to bring that space age technology and shrink it for automotive applications and that's exactly what is, is being done right here. Well, certainly the technology can be scaled uh, to, to power any kind of vehicle but this we wanted to demonstrate you can have a very clean technology that will refuel just like a regular car does right now about less than five minutes. Gives you the same sort of range 200 miles or so or something like that will seat five people comfortably and all the stuff that goes with them in my case it's all the swim gear all the, all the soccer gear all the you know surf gear um, and gives you that that range versus you know maybe some other technologies that are out there that you may you may have to rely on a smaller vehicle with mm -hmm. two seats and you won't be able to go as far so we wanted to go after the sweet spot with what a lot of American drivers are looking for mm. in terms of size and range and, and practicality. The overall bottom line is you don't want to have this to be too much different than the gasoline version vehicle that people are used to. You don't sure. want to have any trade-offs. So you're going to see here you've got a heck of a lot of room and if you go into the trunk space you know there's not a real whole lot of intrusion back here to use an automotive term you've got a lot of space sure. for all of your groceries and all of your gears. I want to actually uh come down to where the tailpipe should be. I don't yeah. even really see it. Is that what these yeah. uh, are? We've got four vents. These okay. are water vapor vents. And the only thing that really comes out of here is pure water vapor. Mm. And there are folks that have really wanted to demonstrate how clean this water is when it comes out. They've put little uh, cups underneath the tailpipe and then they've drank it. How about we go for a ride? Sure, that'd be fun. I'm ready. All right. So actually, the vehicle is so safe that if there is any sort of crack in the hood, if you haven't shut it completely, it won't start. Wow. And you just saw that. That's a great safety feature just to ensure that the vehicle is uh, rolling down the roadway. And, it's, and the hood uh, doesn't go up. That's right. <laughs>